We are here in the Tibby flagship store in 120 Wooster. Amy is not with us today. She is away working on a book. And yes, there are two books. One that exists that is not going to exist anymore. And then another one that's coming. Ooh. Exciting. <laughs> so I'm here with Grace. Grace is the senior stylist here at the store. You know her well. And we're going to get into it. Yeah. Okay. So I think today we're talking about fall capsules, but we would kind of have building out what our closet looks like when it right. comes to this new season. So a lot of the items we're going to be kind of showcasing where we're going to constantly revolve and build off of that um, and show you some new ideas of giving new life and thinking about different events in your life, lifestyle. Um, so today, as you can see, I have one of the outfits on right now. And I have on our new um, Salfanet dress. Is that the way to pronounce that? Mm -hmm. Which is this so great. We were talking a moment, a moment ago, and it's like, what if you were on an island? Oh, yeah. And you had 10 pieces of Tibby, and what would you do, and how would you remix those items, mm -hmm. right? So, like, how would it be for you if you created a capsule wardrobe? Mm -hmm. And I love that you started with this because clearly this is something that you're going to remix a thousand okay. ways. Yeah, for sure. And what this is is like, we call it a one and done, mm -hmm. where this outfit in its own. For me, this is possibly like going coming to work, to be honest, or possibly going to an event with friends, going to be a gallery opening or something like that. But at the same time, it's cool, it's posh. Again, my modifier is edgy, and I always like to gear towards leathers. It's just a thing that's a staple in my closet. Mm -hmm. So of course, I threw on my oversized leather bomber, um, the black, as well as a um, black rider boot texture to kind of give it a little bit more of um, more interest yeah but to completely change it up and this is more along the line of maybe I'm gonna go to hang out and grab a coffee and I just really love wearing looking chic in my neighborhood a right. pair of barons would really work hard or even a point Dexter where it has the simplicity the minimalism to take this to a more casual leisure level and then we'll probably lose this guy along the way just to allow the little details here such as the openings um, in the front and in the back. So again, me being 5'1", it really offers a lot of um, freedom as walking and also just allows my shoes to really have a moment. So what I love is that we introduced the concept of wearing and pairing sheer items back to others as a tool. So here we've paired sheer back to what we also introduced in the Dominic pinstripe overalls and the skirt. If you can come a little closer. So you can see that it actually has the functioning belt loops. We also have the jumper and the zipper and you could turn around to the back. And so this little opening with a keyhole, well not, more than a keyhole, and then actual functioning pockets high and low. So you're getting all the concepts that were introduced but kind of stacking on them and building an outfit. And you yeah. can do this from now, right? Yeah. In the cooler days in the fall. Yeah. So you said one and done. Yeah. I talk about the game a lot. I talk about the wolves a lot, but I really am a big fan of one and done dressing. Um, for my lifestyle, I want to just throw it on and go. And we were actually like, oh, okay, look at you. Like I have on, I did this on purpose, but I have this dress on because it's easy. I can pair it back to the max, which I'm wearing here. I'll throw that aside for you. So I'm wearing this, the max in a 14 just as a layering tool. Um, and the polo, I actually have on another shirt underneath. And it feels really just... Easy. Yeah, easy. I'm wearing it with the alley, so I would totally put this on with the Bronson for fall. Um, and and if you're wondering like how much give it has, it has a bit of stretch, and I actually put a few things under it just for comedic. Uh, <laughs> just because we, you know, well, we're all constantly on the go. But I mean, if I'm on this island and I only have a few items, or the island being that I can't get my luggage through the airport, thank you. You know who you are at the airport in San Francisco. So they wanted me to wear my items. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put all of them on <laughs> and try to get through um, TSA. For sure. Cool. But I love this. This is also just kind of has that really ease to it where it has the drama, but at the same time, no constrictions. It's really just built to just lay on you like a blanket. It just looks really chic. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Great. Awesome. So if I were to kind of just show you guys what I have layered, I think it's really easier since we're at the store. Um, we're standing in front of, oh, thank you. So I want to show you this just because it's really important to see how much this stretches and it's not opaque. That seems kind of crass, but 
Um, I mean, it shows you, it's not opaque, it's very heavy, and I'm actually wearing a pair of wilts under it, so that's a good way to show that it's not too skin tight. Bryn, come close. All right, so we're on an island. We're on an the island. island is called Tibby Island or I whatever. Tibby Saint Simon's. Just go with Saint Simon's. Oh my God, we're we on Saint, Saint Simon's. Simon's Island. Hey guys, our friends there. We're on Saint Simon's. There has been we won't say anything bad, but something happened, and all we have is ten pieces. We're stuck in paradise. Oh okay. no, it is paradise. It is, but I think that's also where the idea of layering comes in. It doesn't only have to do with a capsule wardrobe. I think it really has to do with you really wearing your pieces in a multifunctional. Way. I mean, this is this is I mean, the answer to that. Well, I think it's really important to show people how easy you can kind of get from one thing to the next. Yeah. Walk me through what you're wearing. So I am also wearing the Max Blazer. I'm wearing it in the black, not the navy. I'm wearing a size zero, which I normally take um, in the Marlin as well. I'm also wearing the summer satin dress in a size zero, and then I'm wearing the Skin Like Moisturize green hoodie, kind of wrapped around, but something I would put show you on top to do even more layering when it gets chilly. Oh my goodness, I'm attached to my other cat. Sure, gotcha. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you. So what I love about the summer satin is that all of our colors in the collection from summer are building into what we're wearing in fall. If you could, it's actually a really good, yeah. come a little closer. So if you can see, I'm wearing the wilt in brown from fall and she's wearing the summer satin so this has a little bit more of a reddish tone but you could still pair them together it's not yeah. one and done like one or the other all of our browns kind of work together in a harmonious way yeah and i think that was something sarah really nicely touched on last week where it was like you don't have to be wearing the same color navy to do a one look it doesn't have to be all that same color navy to do a one ton or none right um and that's sort of like the great thing about the multiple variations of a color and the patterns that we have. So in the jet suiting and also in the LUTs, that brown there is gonna work really well back to the summer satin brown and also with the fall brown. Hi, Amy. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, so the skirt on, yup. So Amy wears the skirt also, I mean the dress that I had on, I am 5'8", Amy is 5'5", five five, and we can both kind of rock the, yeah, the exactly. cool way. So now you're wearing, these are tools yep. that you're gonna use. So you've now changed your dress into a skirt, um, yep, exactly. you have on a hoodie, and so this is a tool that we were really talking about in San Francisco, when the weather is kinda cool on one spot, warm on the other, there's yep. wind where the water is, so you can layer this, show up, and still have that cool pop come a little closer, and the mercerized skin-like wool. Yeah, and I think this is also a really fun way to play with like the color pop is to use an accessory, not an accessory, but use a layering tool to also be that pop of color. You can tie it around your waist, but it's also functional. Like, Totally. Yes, Matt. So would I'm, you say that the nylon top then would, uh, the brown top would also work with the nylon joggers? All of our browns work together and they're not meant to be exactly matched together. This isn't like animals. We talk about this in our DMs. Everything kind of works together as a harmonious. And I think this is a great place for us to talk about yeah. our color wheel, which you guys have asked a thousand times ways and times in a good way so if you see here if we're working on things that are in ring two some of the browns that we have yeah maybe that's not a brown but there's also something in like a warmer tone in ring three so yeah. brown yes is on ring two but if you're pulling out warmer tones it kind of becomes a little bit of that ring three non-color color yeah and you can really see it here when they're next to each other they do look good together too right and you're wearing the croc i'm wearing the croc, croc pedro so when people write to us and say we didn't get um, the Pedro and the regular smooth mm -hmm. leather, you can now get the crop with a little bit of texture. Yeah. What I'm curious about is if you were to remix this, right? So yeah. Amy talks about these cooking analogies. She talks about you have making pasta and not having all the ingredients, songs, music, all of it. It's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. There are songs that come out and yeah. then after they've come out, people remix them. Yeah. They kind of What did you say? Them. You were recently in... No, I went and, so Anthony is our production, um, our head of production. I went to his office and I thought he was listening to Beyonce, which is on character, but not really. And I was like, <laughs> are you getting ready for Renaissance? And he was listening to the song that Beyonce had sampled for Crazy in Love. And so because of that, it made me think about our closets and how we kind of can use them as tools, our capsule to build on them and flip them and kind of remix yeah. them around. Um, I mean, one great way I would remix this is I would switch the Pedro for the Brian flip-flop, and then I would probably take one of our sweatshirtings and throw it across my body, and I'm ready for warmer. That would be one of my ways of remixing. So I would remix your outfit with the Bronson, because I love yeah. the Bronson in the fall, and then with my outfit, I'd probably do a red Bronson or a red sweatshirt, yeah. which is kind of funny, because 
races nearby in a red red sweatshirt or red uh, sweater yeah. and a black Bronson. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh, do you want green? Yeah. yeah. So while you quickly change the race to come on on. Hi. Hello. How's Hello. it going? And talking about remixes, I'm going to have some of the highlights from the last outfit and yeah. also how these pieces can also work with the last outfit as well as while we move on. So I still have on black leather crops, yep. boots, uh, threw on the indigo Sam jeans. It's really amazing in this kind of blue, savage, kind of raw feel. Yeah. I think it kind of gives a little bit more texture and interest. And then I have here our shrunken wool, a uh, lamb's wool um, sweater. With the best details. With the best details. Yeah. And this is just to kind of um, play on proportions as well as just kind of give into that whole it's gonna get colder soon guys yeah. it's literally around the corner oh if you don't feel it already <laughs> so just thinking about utilizing you have some of the items and if you're gonna remix what the last items you wore into this outfit for well, sure right yeah and a quick throw of a jacket can definitely just make this a little bit cooler this kind of reminds me of just going out and maybe going to a movie and this is kind of where we're where it's like feel great you don't have to think about anything i look really cozy as I yeah. warm up but at the same time I you know it's just really um straightforward and then I think this is also a great thing I think this outfit for me really represents a lot of what was pulled for the fall 2 campaign of uh, the giant movie and but a different iteration and I think the whole point is a lot of these items can really be interchangeable to create a similar vibe I think that's exactly really great point. And then also, because this is a shrunken sweater, mm -hmm. we can always kind of throw it over here and take away these elements and allow you to really utilize this as more of a skirt um, option, just a little yeah. bit more of a dramatic feel. But at the same time, take, thinking about the casuality, making it a little bit more everyday, yeah. you compare it with a, a Brody, your Pedros, for yeah. instance, and just having those three elements there just allows you to be really chic and kind of think about where you're going, but at the same time, feeling confident as you get there. Yeah, and if there was a shoe that you would have remixed this in? In this outfit yeah. right here? Probably just a gray Baron. <laughs> the gray, yeah. just because the I love ever faithful. Yeah, the <laughs> ever faithful, the ever big. Um, and I absolutely love the colorways that we kind of debuted this fall, just yeah. because they really work as tools and let it be the um, Perdo, Perdo? Per Perdo? Yeah. <laughs> Which is a, a hint of lime, the gray that really has these amazing undertones that work really hard in your closet and then the brown which is a bit of a burgundy red um, that allows you to have a pop but it's not necessarily so yeah okay. exactly speaking and, of pop oh, oh speaking of oh my god pop. we're very all in sync right now but i'll <laughs> switch yeah, i'm gonna go change and so red. i think this is um a good comparison people talk about tibby red and tibby navy and how it looks on different colored you know skin and also how refine it can look with denim. Yeah. I think it's a little bit unexpected to wear with the brown, but it actually looks really yummy, which we did it. We also shot it this way for editorial. I also love that it's kind of like we're in different realms. Like this is really warm, a white clean finish, and then I have this really dark tone, um, Americana feel, and then like really edgy texture. Um, and this is two different personalities. Let's go, can we go a little closer and just show them? So I'm wearing the cashmere hoodie. And so it's funny, this one reads a little bit orangey, but I think that one just has a, a touch, a touch blue. Um, and this one is kind of shrunken, right? But it still has a little bit of give in mm -hmm. it. I would take your true size in that. For sure. I'm actually, what size do you wear? I'm an extra small. Mm -hmm. I wear I, I wear extra large and I'm wearing a large. Yay. And again, like there, this is our featherweight cashmere, which in my opinion is one of the softest things I've it's ever really touched. Small. Um, it's my forever sweater. <laughs> I invested in it because I'm going to live in it. <laughs> and then for this guy, I also invested in it. <laughs> but that was because I wanted a power piece that has this really amazing grain of a knit. And I love that texture because it also just plays into heritage. It plays into a really classic feel. And having the small touches, such as this slash on the side, it being a little shrunken to help with proportions. Again, I'm 5'1". I'm, I'm a pretty small person. So it, it allows it to kind of feel as much, but at the same time not overwhelm me. And I love that when I'm thinking about pieces that I want to a clean waistline or if I want to wear something that's a little bit more posh and refined and I don't have, I can just quickly tuck instead of um, committing to so much fabric. 
Yeah, what I really um, try to think about, and I think it'd be great for you guys also, with the capsule wardrobe, do I have my pieces, my tools covered? So this is a different type of sweater, right? So if maybe you don't need two of these in red, but if you're getting this one in cashmere, maybe you're getting a different color in, in, this, this, in this body style. So then you have two variations, two lengths, two end uses. This one has a hoodie, that one does not, that one has a sleeve. So this is really important for me when I build out those 10 items that I am taking to Tibby Island, aka St. Simon, <laughs> aka <laughs> the most happiest place on earth, when building a capsule wardrobe and when I'm trying to remix them. So as you can see, I took the wilt that I had on with the max, so now I'm wearing it with a hoodie. I could totally just throw on the same max that I just had on with the hoodie under it, with yeah. the pop of color coming out, uh -huh. and still build as I travel, um, as, as I run errands. Yeah. Sounds great. Cool. cool. All right, so I want to see how we can remix these outfits. Yeah, be back. All right, let's figure it out. Great if you want to come back. All right. So. Your items to remix, which okay. is also one of my caps. So this is good because we're two different heights, right? So yep. it'll really show where this hits on people, everyone. Yep. You still get a little bit of skin at the ankle, which is really great if you're wearing the slide or if you're wearing a little sneaker running around, which someone suggested today, and I think that'd be a perfect look. Uh, yep. um, totally. It's not precious. So tell me, you're wearing the shrunken. Can yep. I see both? Can I take this yep. one? So I yeah. took the um, I took the hoodie because this is a great piece for me especially. Mm -hmm. I think it's really great for layering. Um, but I'm wearing a dress, the dress in the extra extra small and this is where it hits on me. I'm 5'2". I'm wearing it with the wax bomber um, and this is something that for me would be incredibly crucial in my capsule wardrobe. Um, having a jacket. This also has a removable hood. Yep, let's just pop that off so you can see. I mean, sorry, I don't want to... Nope. Ren has the best hair in the game, guys. Like, I don't <laughs> even know. These waves um, do everything. So this hood is generous, yep. but then it can easily pop off. Yep. And it's a true bomber. So if you look at the neckline here, it has yep. the bomber uh, ribbing at the sleeve and at the neck and at the hem. So I think if you're looking at the size chart for this guy, it'd be really important to look at. I mean, the, the chest measurement is pretty accurate for yep. you. You're taking your normal size. Yep, exactly. I would not size down. I would not size up. I would take the size you normally take in Tibby jackets and Tibby tops. Yep, this is a shrunken bomber and that is the purpose of it. Okay. Um, it is meant to be hitting right at your hips. It's not meant to be longer. There is a longer version of this coat. However, for me, I personally um, wanted this one for my capsule because I felt with the dresses that I was choosing, it was a really great way to sort of create the illusion of a skirt. Um, with the items that I chose for rotation. The great thing too about um, a shrunken bomber, if you're someone that, I mean, I know they call them car coats, but if you're running around and maybe you're not outside, I feel like my bum kind of gets cold sometimes um, if I'm standing, you know, outside, but if you're someone that's driving in the car or, or in general, yeah. just don't need a longer length. Yeah. Um, then I think this is the jacket for you. I kind of just rolled this up. If I had a Lucas bag, I probably would throw this in there. Right. Oh, yeah, in this oh, wait, I don't know. Can they see that? I'm not sure. Um, cool. So, well, we can talk about, I know you guys have seen it on IG. All of our stylists have reposted that we have some closets here. So the remix is really a foundation for what you can do in your closet and also what we're gonna do here in store um, to give you just guidelines, not rules, just guidelines of what Amy is liking and loving for the season, what Sarah is loving, and also what our stylists are loving. Yeah. Last week, Jen and Grace were on IG Live, and we now have a closet for all of their products that they wore, and you can gladly come by, or they can walk you through it via DM. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So I'm curious, I want to see what else I'm going to yeah. remix and build no for this outfit. Let's see it. All right. Any questions so far? Um, I'm wearing an extra just small in this jacket, by the way, my normal size. Oh, come on in. Let's see how you're remixing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, walk us through. Making a jean and elevating a jean. And mm how, -hmm. you know, we present and constantly are thinking about innovating our, um, our jean wear, our capsules. We've made the classic wash Stella jean for a reason. And yep. the same thing with utilizing a more texturized fabric in order for it to work hard and you know all we're doing is making a more interesting and elevating version mm -hmm. our outfit so as you can see i have the crepe melee um white shirt one of my favorites again we highlighted in our marathon how we can utilize it yep. in different ways this also has the double zipper and i think that's a great functionality as well for items to have and makes them even more cross-functional for sure and all i did was just like open this up a little bit and it just made it a little bit more elegant mm -hmm. maybe more rest like 
situational when it comes to it being evening wear. Mm -hmm. And then it also changes the shape because as it gets wider here, yeah. then it creates a different shape in the shirt. For sure. Yeah. And then I also paired it with our um, crop victors. I'm a huge fan of kind of um, making it a, as Katara said, spectator shoe. Yeah. And all I'm doing is just, I really thought you were wearing a sock, so this is great. Why don't we explain to the people? <laughs> so um, I, I got two pairs because I'm, I'm a shoe girl and I yeah. need to have all the shoes. Um, but I, I love the idea and this allows me to really play and be creative is kind of intermixing the pockets and really utilizing it to make it my own. There's going to be many variations of yeah. this, you know, I'll probably wear one of each color and mix match and yeah. there's some, you know, so much fun in that and I just thought that, you know, interchanging it with just for interest, we're still talking about classic, it's very modern take on it mm -hmm. and it allows me to be creative because I get to be playful instead of, you know, more um, typical. Yeah, so. and I think what's great is if people don't know these snap off, so we can just show them here quickly. Um, these do snap off, so what she did was took the crop white pocket and she put it right on the brown one, um, which I think is also a great thing to have. In I'm gonna, like, switch your no, it's fine. Also, like, like if I, I'm someone who constantly reapplies my lipstick, yeah. so and I lose it all the time. So it's an, it's a little safe haven yeah. for me if I need to pick, wear my lipstick. Put your metro card in Yeah, so it's changed. Little mini store. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> Just if you're really in the mood for something spicy, you just throw a little tabasco I mean, in there. Yeah. Um, but I think this is great because showing the rotation of how like a castle wardrobe and having those really like grounding elements can keep can give you limitless options. For sure. And again, it's it's just a sham jean. It's just a sham jean, and I'm just making this work for me and making it elevated and just putting pieces that are a little bit more special to kind of play it more into a. Um, the love, like uh, more of a lever feel, where you yeah. bring it up or you bring it down. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Cool. Oh, cool. for us. Yeah, you remix. Uh, I just swapped out some pants, mm -hmm. and so I am really loving brown with red. Yeah. Um, the Lux has a really great brown undertone. It's actually brown and black. So if you're looking on the website, and also I want you to see this, guys. This is major, major. These feel like pajamas. I can't scream it from the mountaintops. They are. So, yeah, like, look at that. And when I, when I do this, it's not for you to, like, size up or size down. I'm showing this for comfort, for ease, for, like, just wearability. That so this is going to go into yeah. every situation that I'm desiring. I would dress this up. I know um, Jen sometimes, or she mentioned before, dressing for the hard moments. If I have a hard moment, I want to be comfortable. Sometimes I've, I've had, like, I mean, everything from a memorial to a wedding to a birthday party times with family, sitting for a long time, you know, I think this is something that I would wear, Yeah. no matter what. No, and walk us through, so you were wearing this sweater, yeah. the jogger. Yeah, so I was wearing the jogger with the max originally, mm -hmm. which would be, I would definitely do like two jackets in my mm -hmm. capsule. I would do two sweaters, um, a couple of shirts, a couple of pants and a skirt, and maybe one dress. That would be my capsule. So I was wearing the max with the wilt and a t-shirt, and then I changed the, what did I change? I changed oh, the, the, the max to the sweatshirt. Yep. Yeah. And now I have changed my pant. Yeah. And I'm also wearing it with the Mario in white patent um, for a place where I would love to wear a sneaker, but I don't have my sneaker, so I'll just wear this, and it feels like it eases things out for me. Yeah. And that square toe is really useful because I feel like I'm like chill. It gives a little bit of interest, something popping out of my, bottom of my pants. And also, I know you guys kind of know already, but yes. I mean, I don't even have to tell you what this is. <laughs> this is Game Changer Snaps, holy grail. holy grail of comfort and ease for every yeah. height. And you can still easily, this is like a, a knit fabrication, but you can tailor this with ease. Yeah. Cool. It's Stella Pan, she does everything. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And Grace. Hi, guys. So again, remixing and moving on. I'm sticking with the crepe melee crop blouse, but I threw on the grand podre skirt, is that correct? With the pleats on the side. And I just kind of wanted to give an elevated feel. Um, obviously this shirt is working hard for me. Um, let me zip it back for you. <laughs> but again, allowing you to really make this posh look and this texture really work for you. I've 
kind of highlighted it before, but there are distressing, distre distressing here on the edges um, and as well here on the neckline. So for me, that talks about literally edginess <laughs> and allowing you to really play and again, be refined, but not so serious in a sense. Um, and then just talking about how modern and what we're thinking about when it comes to functionality is this really cool zipper idea which has these nylon pleats. Um, that you go just, uh, yeah. So that's, that pleat is actually made of sporty nylon. Mm -hmm. So if you guys kind of ask us like, oh, do things make noise? This is the good noise. Uh, you know, I think it's great that this has a little bit of texture and movement and feels a little bit more, I guess, sportier than the body. So I don't know if they can see it, but the pleats really. They really work. Yeah. And you know, again, this is just, if I didn't want something so narrow on me, I just open this up. If I want to make this a little bit more interesting instead of classic, I can definitely utilize this. It's also Italian sporty nylon, which only means that it can withstand what life throws at it. So if you spill coffee right here, guess what? Just wipe it away really quickly. Um, do it. <laughs> I know. I feel like this is like a move. I do it. I, that's the reason why, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been living in it lately because I literally am walking really fast. Like, oh my God. Well, Grace is the ultimate coffee drinker. So I, uh, if, if you say it's fast. Grace tested for coffee, then we know it's true. So Grace tested. Ask Grace, Grace about all your coffee related <laughs> questions. Um, awesome. So I would totally, how would I remix this guy? I feel like I might wear a t-shirt with this. And I'm, I'm a big fan of the Bronson. So if I'm not, brand, I think that's my go-to, like my alley is my oh, other go-to. Yeah, so yeah, maybe a t-shirt, a gray t-shirt and a red alley would be good for me or. I mean, also just thinking about how I'm dressing and playing into fabrications, I would probably do from like last week's the Italian Sporty Nylon Cocoon hoodie mm. with this and have a play totally. on this fabric and then maybe utilize the patent leather Bronson's for that slim texture feel. Yep. And again, that's solely built to like whatever life is throwing at me. It, I just look chic and effortless and it's all black. So like you can never go wrong. And as a New Yorker, you really never go wrong. <laughs> I know. I try to push myself to wear maybe in times where I normally want to do black just to soften it. So that's my like my current situation like okay i want to get away from black sometimes but i really love black with brown black with i mean clearly i threw this on yeah so this is me remixing i took off the sweatshirt and now i'm wearing the active knit um zip up which we know and love you guys have asked tons of questions about this over time i'm wearing the extra large you saw sherry was wearing she tried on a small but wear would wear a uh, medium mm -hmm. you would wear uh extra small and that's just because I like the length of where it hits me. So this is me showing you the length of it. And we all know that you can kind of do the two zip situation and you could up in here. It's wide enough for you. Oh, it's for you to stick your arm through. Mm -hmm. So also this cool detail in the back of the pocket. We've yeah. done that in quite a number of different styles. And that includes our like recycled full Pico, our Clyde lab coat. And this is just, again, you can utilize it in whichever way. Maybe when you're packing, you pack it inside the pocket. Maybe you actually like put some of your electronics, a phone, if maybe, if I don't know why the other yeah. pockets wouldn't be useful, but if you needed to put something yeah. here that's just like, utilize as an alternative backpack why not i think it's like a backpack right so it's like if you if i were wearing this hiking which i would totally wear this hiking and i would totally wear it with this to a dinner For you know sure. i think there's a thousand and one a million a million and one ways to wear things i would totally use that pocket it works. no a billion i'm on oprah status um yeah awesome. so i'm gonna remix this guy okay. sweet okay so cool so you guys have asked about um, the active knit in the Winslow and the active knit in the jacket. There may be something happening really soon, so we will keep you posted. If you're looking for this, the store actually has these. Any styles that we have been sold through of, please DM your stylist for the ones that exist here and they will let you know what exists. Yep. Cool. <laughs> okay. Speaking of active knit, okay. the active knit wide leg, which also has the fan favorite Mm -hmm. Snaps. Um, Let's I'm, just say snaps are the default now, and if they don't have them, you can let us know, and they probably either are gonna have them, <laughs> them or did have them, like yes. Yeah, or they're probably yeah, they're probably gonna have yeah, them. Sure. Um, yeah. So I remixed this jacket, which for me is I just love it. I think it's so great. Um, I threw it on with the active knit wide leg in our new tan color, and then I put on the regal striped shirting. I did the little rubber band string in the back, and I just tucked it underneath. 
um, to make it more of a tailored silhouette because of the wideness in the pant. Well, your modifier is ladylike, right? Oh, I, I always say ladylike. I'm like projecting. Your, your modifier is elegant. That's fine. We can do with that too. So, no, you wearing this is very like a true ode to heritage. You're yep. wearing this jacket that gives off, you know, straight, you know, Barbara. I was going to say Queen Elizabeth in the mountains. What was that place that you went with? I don't know. Where? Where? I, I watched too much of The Crown and now I can't oh, remember. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Tell me again, Matt. Belmoral. Belmoral. So yeah, it's given Belmoral. <laughs> no, I think he probably has been there, knowing that. All right. <laughs> or not. Um, and then with this regal, which is actually pretty regal with the French cuff and the French yep. collar. Actually, I can show that when I yeah, take this off. Yeah, I'd love off. to see this. So I can do it without the jacket. Um, and this has the really great French cuff, as you can see here. I'll pull it down. Um, so, so this is our Gabe body, right? So if you turned around for one second and showed them what you've tied up, the only differences between this body and our Gabe in pink, blue, and white is that the gusset here is now just a little side slit, but you can still do all the things. It's really great that Bryn just showed you you can still tie that in a knot. So she, she's pulling it right from where the slit is and doing a little shirt pony. Not as elegant as TM. everybody. And then just underneath. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Real quick, yeah. can you show the top of the pants that you're wearing? Of course like, I can. Like, and remind, <laughs> remind the... I'm wearing, so this, so the LUTs, when, say for instance, if you guys have the cashes, we're most times we're speaking to the fabrication. Um, this is the Stella pant body and the LUTs fabrication. So this is a stretchy er knit, yeah, stretch knit with pleats, the asymmetric pleats. You want to see my actual waist? Yeah, okay. just like the yeah. waistband. And, oh, yeah, and sure. Do you wear it true to size? I wear true to size. So it's sitting higher on me. I'm a little fuller at the waist, so most of my Stella's sit high. Um, naturally, this would probably fit, sit on you maybe three inches from your belly button. So my, I think the waist for this, if you look, is like 37, and that's where my pants are sitting for me. Yeah. I awesome. Yeah. Good rule of thumb is we all always like take our true size and all the pants in the same yeah, yeah um, and some people prefer to wear their pants higher, and that is okay because these are just principles. Um, Amy will like thumbs up that. I saw her in the oh, comments. Yeah. Um, but we, they are designed with intention to be easy, and easy for everyone looks a little different. And so I think that's the best you can do. Mm -hmm. All right, be right back. I did show the snaps, and I can snap them for you actually to show you. Can you help with the snaps? Do you want to jump a little bit closer? Yes, give me one second. Thank you, Alrighty, so that's it. Sna I know, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is snapped, this one is not, and it just really depends on if I'm in the warm mood for a puddled look versus a knot. I am wearing the Victor here, which I guess like, I should have swapped out the fluffy color too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about you. What are we remixing? Oh, so we're still remixing this wonderful, beautiful, tailored, amazing, look. best yeah, <laughs> really, really good skirt. skirt. Um, and I kind of wanted to give it a little, like tone it down a little bit. And one of the things that I, as a go-to for me, are bodysuits. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like a great slim. I don't have to think about it. It's attached to my body. It's fine. So, <laughs> it's part of me. It's part of me, exactly. Yeah. And this is the tan um, one that we've kind of uh, debuted for fall. And it has a little strappy here. And it's really like, geared to be yeah. a little more playful just like all of the other items that has this and you can kind of make it this is my favorite way of putting it on mm -hmm. which is like a little bit of a tie which is like business attire and you had showcased this similar um idea last week when you wore the denim the light which wash denim shirt which also has these ties mm -hmm. um which is really great it's a really great detail to have yeah and with that talking about that i just wore it open i wore it as a like yep. more of a cover-up and outerwear and then my last post i wore the shirt and i tied these guys actually around and the davenport and that was just really fun it's, it's really allowing me to be creative and that's all this is supposed to do is yeah. allow you to kind of get away from it being like this like bow and again if you want the bow it's there for you i would do that when i'm want to be ironic and to be honest a bit of a brat but <laughs> I, I would kind of do this if I want to be posh I can do this I was gonna say yeah through the balance is another great way yeah, to like and have it hold itself for sure yeah. and it, it's just allowing you to express your personality and your mood 
Yeah. Um, but I kind of, I paired it with this and I thought these colors look really beautiful together. Um, and again, this is really sleek and a little bit more sporty, mm -hmm. this green of this. Yeah, the, the fabrication of this shirting is definitely on the sportier side, which I think is great too, so it adds that bit of irony. And it really pulls in the whole CMC yeah. aspect. And then just kind of pairing an Oxford where it's classic, it's square toe, it's a little bit more androgynous, and you're putting all this like very femme features together. Mm -hmm. um, and you can put a sock if you want a little bit more of a detail. I went sockless just because I'm someone who in the summer just wants a little bit more of a, yes. you know, pull on, don't have to think about it. Also, if you're thinking about um, considering these, these are also really great leather quality and can quickly just kind of be presented this way. Yeah. Tora wears that all the time with hers, the brown one. Mm. And I feel like in this one, it works just as well, if not even better. Um, so if you're looking for something that's of Oxford, but you can kind of convert into a slip on, absolutely perfect. So great. So, all right, Katara. Hi. Hi. And again, right. working that jacket. This is the remix. So I'm on the island. For as a reminder, we are on the island. The island is called Tippy Island. It might be called Saint Simon's Island, and we are wearing only a few all things, things. Right. All of our things. All of our things. The, the things that the are. The things favorite. that are working really hard on those clothes. Cool. Right. So we're <laughs> remixing it. So. If you were following along, I have remixed every piece with something else, and so has Grace, and so has Bryn. I'm now wearing the Active Knit trap jacket with the pull-on skirt. Guys, I tell you that this is a tool for me that I always use. This length is great. I was covered on top, so I wanted to get a little bit of skin. So I'm wearing this zipped open. It's sitting a little higher. Those are the waist beads that I always wear. You guys know it. Tuck that there, and now it's open. Did you, so where did you just put your arm there? What did, did I just, oh, did I just, that whose arm is that? It's mine. <laughs> yeah, oh, magic trick. I'm wearing these Kyoto. I got these at Sherry McMullen. I couldn't leave without something. Um, just in case anybody asked, these are some great Kyoto Tango bracelets, I think. Ooh. Japanese, they're, um, yeah, based on like Tango, meaning to put like textile together. Anyway, so yeah. I stuck my arm in the little zipper hole. The zipper will not cut you. This is a nylon zipper, so it's quite comfortable. Didn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this is just also, I personally love this particular piece because we worked it in a few ways where it was sporty. We worked it in a few ways where it looks really like and posh. We worked it in a few ways where it's like really casual. Yep. And I think this is like kind of giving a testament of like how hard this jacket will work, where it's like the modern, um, Silhouette of it, of it kind of cocooning these. I don't know why I have my hands up. I just, <laughs> I was like, because this is the remix. You guys like it when we dance. <laughs> Our ratings go up. No, um. they, they probably went down. I do have moves, they're just not on IG Live. Um, but <laughs> they, they're for private, for appointments only. <laughs> no, they're, they're for not private dancing like Tina, RIP. They're private appointments that we have with people that we are booking so that you can get your closet together and not get a private dance. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I just want to say this is definitely what's in my closet. When they say, what's in your wallet? This is definitely what's in my closet. You guys don't like that reference? Oh, I was here for it. The kids don't like Okay, they're here for it. Um, because I'm going to wear this. I'm going to go for daycare pickup. And I'm not going to look like I just woke up. I'm going to look like money in the bank and, and yeah I'm gonna show up and be like oh hey I'm here to pick up my crazy two-year-old she's gonna put her hands on me and I'm gonna step away <laughs> yeah. that's it you're like you're yeah because it's nylon you're beautiful babe yeah <laughs> I think this would be a good time to kind of talk about what we have behind us oh yeah do you guys sure. want to come with us let's go all right so, so as we just as you just work this is big guys before. all right so you ready that <laughs> creek will be fixed <laughs> All right, guys, so you see it here. This is the Tibby Green curated closet that we have in store. So here we have Sarah's closet. Here we have Amy's closet. If you are here, if you are traveling into New York, if you are virtual, you have access to this closet. Yeah. What we'll put in this, this is always gonna be curated looks that have been picked by our stylist and Amy um, to just show you how to get through your life. I, you know, I think it also kind of pure, it's a uh, perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So we have the tutorial, we have the executive, and then alongside these two would also be two stylists 
closets, which you will probably see later on today. Yeah. Um, kind of representing, again, a point of view. Today, this week will be Toro and I, um, I believe, showcasing some of the highlights of this live, but also some twists, some turns, um, and we can always showcase and tell you what items are there and why they're there. So what's exciting, yeah, that Amy and Sarah's will be, not stagnant, they'll always be in this place. So you can always ask, what is Amy craving? What is Amy currently wearing? Maybe she posted something, you have questions about it. DM a stylist, they will give you a personal tour of the closet, right? And then show their closets. Um, I would love to show them a bit of what's in here. Shall oh, we? Yeah. Okay, you guys wanna see it? All right. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so we're just gonna start this way and then we're gonna have Bren come and help us also at the end. Um, of course we have, let's start here. If you have not gotten it yet, this is where she's referencing all of her CP um, principles. Is Also the to Dictionary, yeah. a, a, you know, some people's Bible. Or <laughs> so, and this would be a great place in your personal closet. If you're keeping your CP book there, I suggest you have it on the table so your friends can see it and get it too. You can also put your sticker when you get them. Maybe you'll get them in your closet, right? So... You were just wearing the indigo sham jeans, mm -hmm. obviously they're a fave. And yeah, just kind of, again, talking about a silhouette, a signature piece that we constantly carry a new fall fundamental in uh, indigo wash. Okay. Um, and what size do you wear? I wear a size 25 and in the closet, in Amy's closet, it is a size 27. So cool. So I would wear a size 32 and Bren would wear a size 24. Awesome. So next up, we have the Enzyme Wash Charlie shirt. So if you guys have the Charlie shirt, you've seen it before. This is not a mistake. This is a forward yoke here, and this is a regular yoke. This, uh, this wash is a black denim. Cool, no ring here, just this back seam, and this fits slim. And it's slimmer at the hip than the bus. Mm -hmm. if you, yep. yeah. sure. And I would wear that in extra large, and you would wear it. Extra small, that was just and Brim will wear an extra, extra small, and Amy wears a size small, four and 27. Cool. Next up, and so we're actually looking in Sarah's closet. I knew because I pulled out this short, hey Sarah, wherever you are, I knew this was not Amy's closet. <laughs> this is totally Sarah, best legs in the game. You would also wear this short. You have worn this short. Yes, I have worn this short. And that's in the sporty nylon? Yes. You know cool. the shorts that keep on giving? Of course, nylon, just think of it as a short version, and how you wear your jean shorts, this is just gonna maximize. I also think of this as like a teeny weeny Stella. Yes. <laughs> like a, a teeny, teeny weeny Stella. A teeny, not a teeny weeny Stella, but it still has a, a pleat here and a tailored waistband. So if you wanna look kind of refined, yes. you know, in the front, I don't know, maybe I made that up. No, but. for sure. I think, you know, we've kind of built shorts in previous seasons and we always did a pull on short, and I think we just created something a little bit more cleaner when it comes to just the clasps. Also, these belt, the, these belt loops that allow you to kind of take it to other realms, depending on what your, you know, mood, what, what event, what life event is happening. Um, constantly transitioning it and making it work hard. Yeah. And then we have here the Max. Marlin. The Marlin. So I've been craving the Marlin. I've been craving something a little slimmer these days and I've been wearing the Marlin with my SIDS a lot just because I wanted a different shape on top and you could actually get that also with the Max. Um, I take this in size 14. So this runs slimmer in the arm and it also runs slimmer here. So I would totally go on what your bust measurement is. Um, and if you have a fuller arm, I would size up. For sure. Cool. I get it to size zero and same. The shoulder portion around here is a little bit more structured, um, a little bit more narrower. Yeah. So always feel free if you guys are unsure about sizing to contact us once one of us here at the Soho or St. Simon's store. We're more than happy, as well as Katora, to assist you with yeah. your... Amy wears a four in the Marlin. Bren wears a double zero. I wear a 14. And you wear a zero. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so next up. We came in today, and this is one of the fan faves. You saw Bryn wearing it in the Abe Regal suiting. I, we all Regal have shirting. it. Yeah, yeah, literally the best shirt ever. <laughs> and then the yellow uh, duelette thingy. Yeah. So we created this in a numerous of colors. I think it's gray, a green, a blue. No, baby blue. It was a baby blue, a pink, and then this wonderful soft yellow. 
again, we're, we're into color this season, and it's just to break up the blacks, the grays, the, the browns, the neutrals that we have, but also really feel comfortable and um, layer layering constantly, because, you know, at least here in New York, layer is, is the point game when it comes to transitions of the season. So what I love about the sky is one size fits, well, all, I was gonna say most, but it's like zero S means one size. And this is wide enough that if you're wearing this under your blades or your max or your lamb, it's gonna look like you have on a full sweater. I know I run hot some days and I'm feeling like this is too much for me. So I would totally wear this with a t-shirt, put this on under the lamb if you feel like I have an extra layer. If you're traveling, you can take this off and kind of just wrap it around your neck as a scarf and go about your day. So this is a really great tool. I would actually add this to my Tibby St. Simon's Island. I only have 10 pieces closet. So, oh, this is important. Yes. This is major. Yes. It seems, I mean, it seems like it shouldn't be, but the tea is a, a big staple for me. Yeah, for sure. And I just want to kind of reiterate that our t-shirt program is always coordinated to the season. And what I mean by that is our summer t-shirts are super lightweight to help with, you know, the change the humidity and heat of the season. And this one's a lot heavier. Um, and this is just talking about being layerable, having a little bit more of a thickness and a coverage um, during the cold season. I think this would be a great time just to... Yeah, you know why it's called that? Because it is perfect. It's called the perfect unisex tea. Come here, I, we have Hi. Jen. Jen didn't know, but I thought it'd be really great. One second, so I didn't know. come a little close. She didn't know, but this is great. So if we're comparing, sorry, I'm like yeah. breathing. No, this is the summer tea, yes. and this is our tea. So this is a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see it um, yeah, in comparison. This is a little bit thinner here. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you for that. But Thanks. you can also see how she paired it back to her white belt and her drapey cotton shorts. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so this guy in black is something that I would add to my Tibby St. Simon's Island 10 pieces capsule, and I would wear this black top with the skirt and just roll up my sleeve a little bit when I'm craving something, um, I don't know, black. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we have the um, Rodney chinos, which are in this kind of gray scale um, colorway. Again, we're talking about classic feels, but kind of utilizing them in ironic and modern ways. So again, this is in um, Sarah's closet and she kind of discussed it when she was on the live last week about how this is just giving that kind of base and framing and then we're building on top of that. So um, absolutely love it. It's a little higher. I take a 25 and that's just for me to have the ease as I put you know, my hands in my pockets. And then again, I'm someone who loves a huge cup, so I will probably put that in um, as I wear like a square toed boot or maybe even um, some big chunky sandals. So what's great about this chino fabrication is that it comes in two different stylings. So you can get the Stella with the pleats in the front or you can get the Rodney with the flat, flat front. Some people crave something a little flatter in the middle and others are okay with pleats. You have two options. I would wear this color in a more ironic way. I like wearing this maybe with the pink sweater and cardigan um, and like a funny shoe or sneaker and kind of cuffing it up. Awesome. And then Oh yeah, I think that'd be great to talk about. We just talked about the browns, right? Yeah. So if we were comparing all of the browns, so we're wearing all three. This is the summer satin, and it has like red undertones, and this is our fall. This is actually the max blazer. I was wearing it in navy at the beginning. This is in brown. And so can you come just a touch closer? So this is how this would fare under that. It's still tones of very chocolatey, um, very rich. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a great shell. You've worn this shell before in black, right? I've worn it in this color and in the tan color, mm -hmm. and it's just a really great way to kind of elevate what you would treat a basic. Mm -hmm. And that's like you throw it on, it looks great, it's super flattering, it's not constricting, it does all the work for you. Um, and you can wear it with a jean, a satin, you can wear all brown, you can kind of break up, let's say, the indigo Sam jean. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's lovely and it, it really does, and especially with a high neckline, yeah. it really does and offers so much um, 
of a classic feel, but it's built in this really like lightweight material. Yeah, I was gonna say I would use this as a tool totally the same way we use the sheer tops as a tool because this neck has a point of view. So if you have another shell, you're like, I could just wear another t-shirt. This high neck makes a difference, yeah, right? for sure. Yes. Can and you just say what sizes you would take in, in these? Oh, they like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, extra small, extra small, size zero. I'm consistent. So Amy would take a size small in this, Bryn would take an extra extra small, and I would take an extra large. I know that this has ruching, and so you might think, oh, I need to size up. This is very slim. It's supposed to fit slim on the body, so I would just, if you're bustier or you're a little fuller in a certain place, I would go up and, yeah, yeah. otherwise take your regular size. For sure, and Bryn, do you wanna talk yeah. about the next closet? So I really am excited to, to, wait, before you get into this closet, come here, Bryn, I must say, I'm channeling How do you my feel? Modifier. How do you elegant. feel? Ask her how she feels, guys. You feel elegant? I feel elegant. I'm really channeling my modifier with this one. Wait, come closer because I feel like that that's really interesting that you, I could tell you felt good before you walked up and I was really excited about it. Like, I'm, I'm blushing for you because I feel like this is truly in your wheelhouse yeah. of elegant, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But so it really keeps me, again, the active knit keeps me balanced. That is where my grounding is. This active knit really, truly is for me for every item, especially when I really lean into my elegant modifier, is what keeps me super grounded in the like CNC world. Yeah, and I feel like in a, right now when I want to say like you look great, I think I want to say that because it feels you look like you feel great. Yeah, and I do feel great. I okay. feel very me in the melee crepe V-neck top. Thank you, Matt. So <laughs> the cool thing about this, and you're a little fuller. Yes. I mean, yeah. this is a safe space, right? Yeah. We talk about size and bust. Yeah. And so yeah. you're taking a size, your normal size? I'm taking my normal size. So I think I've mentioned this before. I'm 32 double. Um, and so definitely more bustier on top. But I am taking my true size. I'm taking an extra, extra small. And it fits me quite nicely. And there's still some room in the sides. So the melee is lined. Um, yes. So while it's a stretchier, it has a little bit of stretch, like a stretch really high quality crepe. It's not going to pull as much or stretch as much as it could because of the lining. Yeah. So yeah. And it's a really like really nice feeling. Um, what do you call it? Lining. Like well, a silk. Yeah. It's like a silky lining. It's just a lining. Um, underneath, and it just it feels nice. Okay. Cool. It just feels good. Yeah. So and I would. I'm wearing the uh, Harper in the Peridot. Awesome. With this. And you're wearing that. You're still. So you remix this. I remix right? this. So this is what I would bring in to change up the stance. So you are wearing the active knit jogger, mm -hmm. right? And but you still feel elegant. I still feel elegant. Sweet. Exactly. All right, let's get into Amy's closet. Closet. Okay. Should we work from that way to this one? Let's do it. Okay. First item is the Charlie in the pink. So the Charlie shirting, like the brother to the Gabe of the shirting, the more slimmer of the two, um, in this really easy sort of like fainty pink with a slight blue undertone, mm -hmm. um, but just really easy, really good. This also, the pink comes in the Gabe, but this, the Charlie shirt is just the easiest thing to wear and you can also do the try tie tricks that I did to the game with the Charlie shirt too so I want to say I feel like this the Charlie is definitely Amy's like I'm on an island I'm gonna take oh, the yeah. Charlie she wears this a lot she rolls up her sleeves she does a lot of things with it she wears it back to denim and the Sam and well the Sam Jean and the Sid Jean often um, and if you guys have written before just to place it this is the same as the enzyme that we just showed this is asymmetric, so this one is forward and this one is regular. It's one of the tippy hidden gems that we always yeah. have, the little Easter eggs. Yeah, and great for layering too. One of the easiest. So easiest and also items to bring. people have said that they weren't sure if they could do pink. I think of pink as a tool. Yeah. And Amy having it in her closet with oh, so many things that are also brown, black, and denim really speaks to how you can kind of incorporate that into your life if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of color. Um, that's a good yeah. place to get it in. It's a great no color color. <laughs> All right, let's talk to it. Um, next up is the featherweight pleated skirt in mm -hmm. the pan. Mm -hmm. um, this is very Amy too. Um, she also, I love seeing her wear this because she really does so many variations with the skirt. She'll be wearing it with shirting sometimes. She'll be wearing it with active at other times. There, it's really, for her, the most versatile piece. She also does it a lot with the cocoon backing as well. well what I was gonna say is Amy has spoken to being more feminine, but she does it with irony and mm -hmm. humor. And so wearing this skirt back to a sweatshirt, maybe wearing it with the sock, the white sock that some of you don't understand, but we totally get here, um, is her way of doing it. And so I think that that's the way you 
could kind of create friction or um, work with your own modifier and antonyms yep. in your closet. Exactly. All right, cool. So, and if you see, this wasn't the same shade, so this is cement. I don't know why I put a, a better one. This is cement. <laughs> cement? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm really sorry. <laughs> And then so next is the jet suiting Liam blazer with the zipper detail. So I just wanted to hold these up side by side. I think that it's good for you to see that there's a difference here. Um, there's a difference a little bit in length and there's a difference in um, the length of the Liam, but the color. So this is slightly lighter, but this is also brown. It is like dark brown and medium brown. Yeah, right? and this has the slight check um, that the suiting has, as you can see here. Can um, you put that over your shoulders for me? Awesome. So if Rem were to wear this over her shoulders, come a little closer. So this guy comes in, one of the tippy tricks that we talk about. She could totally just use this as like thigh post and she's gonna be able to go wherever she's going. She still feels pulled together, but she has a third layer on that will keep her exactly. warm and feeling like herself. Yep, and when you're in need of a throw, this is yeah. your answer. This is also travels well on the plane. Which... Exactly, and any Liam can do this too. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, so we have a little bit more to get through. Next item is the uh, Active Knit Winslow. So, travel with Amy. Um, last week she had this on when we were at McMullen's. Sherry also had it on. I have this in the acid wash. If this is not in your size currently in the black, I would highly suggest you consider the acid wash. I think that's a great option. It's a thicker fabrication, kind of like the Calder, but you can use it for texture in your wardrobe. Amy, actually, mm -hmm. also. Oh, so yes. yes there are snaps yeah. in both of these. Yep. So if I were to compare these, I mean, if you're looking from the back, yes, if you're in need of a black pant, totally, you can wait it out. If it's not in your size, maybe we have it in store, DM your stylist. Mm -hmm. But um, I would lean into this and just treat it almost like a dark black gray option and give a little texture. Exactly. What size would you have to do So I take, um, actually, I tried it on an extra large and I'm taking a large. I could do either. Um, and, and also for the Scotty, I now wear the Scotty in extra large. I've been wearing it in large historically. And I take extra, extra small, and Grace would take an extra small. Yes, she will. So we're just going to work through this. Yep, next is the um, Gode v-neck dress, the sleeveless one um, with the darning in the back. So this is the back of the dress. This is the front of the dress, a full zip down the back. Um, it's great. It's also in that more techie material as well. So this has a bit of give to it. I suggest you take your, it's true to size, but it's slim. And I think that should be the expectation, kind of mm -hmm. like the melee top. Yep. Um, but this is a workhorse. I don't know if this is in Grace's, but I would throw this in Grace's closet if she were trapped Absolutely. in the island because I feel like that would be money in the bank. 100%. Um, also, Amy has a ribbed, I think this is a really great layering tool. She's wearing back to denim. And I actually believe that she, she probably has this in outfitting, but she would wear this back to the iceberg Sid as a top. Or yep. even with this, the um, shoot soft lambs wool cardigan um, in the heather gray. And this is similar to what she wore to the book club last week. So this is a really great way to look pulled together, but also easy and effortless. Yep. Cool. Oh, and so we didn't talk about shoes yet, which are in the bottom. Um, I know Amy does love a good uh, white shoe or a sneaker. So she has the blue Scarpa in there and the red Victors with the curly. And Sarah's closet has the... The Harper and Peridot. Yeah, Harper and Peridot. And the Brody. Yeah. So... <laughs> the Brody. No, but the Pedro, not the Peridot. Oh. No. <laughs> it's Peridot. It's Pedro. It's Brody. Peridot. No, oh my Brody. God, guys. Has Who's on first? <laughs> All right, so oh, okay. this was our introduction to the closet. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, we're here for you. We have all of the closets are rotate. Well, all of the closets are here for you to kind of dig into with a stylist. Yeah. And the Lucas bag is up there. The book is here. We have. We have. <laughs> <laughs> Why? All, all right. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's been awesome. Welcome Amy back when she comes back. We loved holding it down for her. Yeah. We hope that she's had a good week writing that next book. We can't wait to read it.
come see the closet. Come see the closet, guys. And work on your 10 piece curated closet for your island. Yep. Bye. Bye. Awesome. Good job, guys. Yeah. I don't know how you thought it was. Terrible.